Hello everyone and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. In this video, I have Denista UC200 IPPVX and I'm going to show you how to configure basic setup and register the IP phone. So the default IP address of the PBX is 192.168.11.1 on GE1 interface. So I have connected it directly to my PC and as you can see there are two login interface admin and personal account login. So I'm going to log in admin account and the default password of the PBX is admin at 123 has. As you can see here, so after login, it will force you to change the default password. So change the default password by entering the default old password and the new password. So I have changed the password and it will jump to the login page again. Now fill up the details with the new password and now it will give you the setup wizard. So either you can go with the setup wizard or you can skip the setup wizard. So in the setup wizard you have to change the default password, basic settings, network settings and extension range. So I am going to skip this and so after I skip you can see the dashboard. Here you can see the concurrent call, CPU uses, memory uses, local storage and SIP extension registration status, SIP trunk registration status and the device model, SIP extension license and maximum calls. It supports HA as well and NMS integration. It supports by default 2FXs and 2FX supports. Now I am going to change the IP address. So the GE1 interface I am going to change the IP into the network. So click on the edit option to change the IP address. And set your network IP address. And give your IP subnet mask and the gateway. Now save, apply changes. Also, I'm going to change the time settings. I'm going to set my time zone. Save. And you can define your NTP servers. Now apply and go to the reboot to take the action of network changes. Select the restart device and restart the device. Now it takes some time in rebooting. So I'm quickly skipping the part and logging the device after boot up time. I'm going to log in with the new IP address. So after setting up the network settings, we will log in the PBX again. So after login, we will navigate to extension and call group option to create the extensions. And here we will create SIP extensions. So to create the extension click on setting option click 
either on new or batch new so either you can create single extensions one by one or you can create multiple extensions at once so i'll create batch new extensions the process is same here you have to define the start extension so in my condition i'm using 900 and by default this pbx has 60 extension license so it is giving up to 60 you can create at once so i'm going to create the five extension and the step is create the extension one step means a uh, difference of one and then zip password policy so we have option all same so all extension password will be same or we can create same with extension number or prefix plus extension number or extension plus suffix number or prefix plus extension plus suffix or we can set random so if you select the random then pbx will generate the password itself and you have to check the password then set in the ip forms so i'm going to use all same and setting up the zip password and this app password policy is also the same options and this is for like you can register mobile application then link app or or you can use user portal for some of the options like voicemail or other settings user can set themselves for their extension so setting up the password for app password and on the zip profile we have to select ge0 or ge1 as we have created ge1 main network interface for the network so we'll select ge1 for all the extensions and if you want to use the 10 link app then you have to enable this and similarly other options now click on the save option and apply So we have created the extension and we can verify over here so we can see 900 901 902 903 and 904 now we will configure the extension on the ip phone so i have gxc3380 So in the phone, we'll enable the account active and account name, extension number, or you can set your name like uh, user one. And the SIP server is the PBX IP address, which is 192.168.0.200, and the SIP user ID is 900 authentication id is 900 and the password is admin at 123 now click on save and apply now this extension 900 is registered with this server 0 0.200 and also we can see the status so you can see here this 2.219 is registered similarly i'll register x slide application and so the call from ip phone to x slide and i slide to ip phone thank you